Thanks for tuning back in. I'm Tommy Campbell, still bald, still in my basement, and still hoping Donald Trump ignores the science and continues to drink 20 cans of diet soda a day. Bottoms up, Don. It's great for you. Jared Kushner slipped past the media and testified against his father-in-law. Marjorie Taylor Greene gets burned. I find the truth after Ron DeSantis goes after woke pizza in New York. Mike Lindell continues to embarrass himself and so much more. But first, this. Hey, that's exactly what happened with, uh, with the decision. The, the, uh, w when it came to the, uh, the, the decision with um, Mr. Uh, I drew a blank there, Sean. I apologize. Yep. I, I got a huge echo in my ear and I can't, I can't even hear. Sorry about that. My wife's British and I love that whenever she sees this guy, she says he's unsavory. That's a good one. And she has even better words for the others. But if Jim Jordan was a Democrat after this performance, you'd have Tucker Carlson trying to destroy him on his rapidly declining Twitter show. Yep. I, I got a huge echo in my ear and I can't, I can't even hear. Sorry about that. Fascinating. Jim Jordan attempted to do an interview this week. I say attempted because he clearly didn't know what he was supposed to be talking about or where he even was. Oh, oh, there's an echo in my earpiece. Oh, I can't do my job. <laughs> We're talking about cognitive decline. And this is an elected official that should be in a nursing home. I'm sure there's some around Ohio that may even have a wrestling program that he can participate in. If his memory truly is this bad, he won't even have to look the other way. It is pouring MAGA tears. It's awesome to have you here. I hope you have a laugh, share my show, and join us in the comments because there are some wild things to cover from the party of family values that insists teaching your kids to care about others is grooming, but dragging your children to a MAGA rally and posing with assault rifles for the family newsletter is not. The Screen Actors Guild is striking, and out of concern, I called Scott Baio to see if this will affect his dinner theater performances on the cardboard stage by the Burger King dumpster. The show goes on. This is really cool. Logan, you want to run that before we get going here? Run the run that um, the three minute video that I want everybody to share, and then we can get that down and. And I can adjust my height here on my chair. That's better, huh? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Why don't you run? Is your dad there, Brandon? Are you there? <laughs> I don't know what's wackier. The fact that Lindell thinks height is height or the fact that the control room at his multi-million dollar money burn pit is run by Brandon's not-so-tech-savvy son. And if you thought that height was a one-off, it happens often. And uh, then temperature or sleep is about two things, height of your, your neck being straight and then temperature. In 2022, U.S. Attorney General Merrick Garland appointed special counsel Jack Smith to lead two investigations into Donald Trump. His handling of classified documents at his low security, temporary foreign worker filled Mar-a-Lago estate and Trump's attempts to overturn the 2020 election clearly won by President Joe Biden. Donald Trump's son-in-law, Jared Kushner, appeared before a federal grand jury investigating the defeated former president's attempt to overturn the 2020 election because the grand jury wants to know if Trump ever privately acknowledged that he lost. This is very important and very interesting because Kushner's not being investigated. He's there as a witness. And if he lies, he will go down for perjury. And you know their line of questioning will not make it easy for Kushner to weasel out of this one. Mr. Kushner, when your father-in-law was throwing hamburgers at the wall and screaming at his staff, did he ever say he really lost or was this just decorating? Jared's heard it from Trump's mouth. There's no way he hasn't. He's discussed it with them. He's gotten earful after earful from Ivanka, who was also a senior advisor to Trump. Yes, they both were. And I would categorize it as impossible that the most trusted people in Trump's orbit never had a conversation with him about this. The entire Trump financial plan for the last two years has been to raise money off the idea that the election was stolen. Jack Smith has also subpoenaed Ivanka, who's yet to testify, but she's distanced herself from Trump more and more, likely to make it easier when she has to drop the hammer on his little orange thumb. If our Department of Defense wants to defend America, we should be defending our border and not proclaiming our righteousness talking about a war in Ukraine. With that, Mr. Speaker, I yield. Gentlewoman's time has expired for 
Uh, the gentlewoman from California is recognized. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I request an Advil and yield one minute to Representative Joe Wilson from South Carolina. A voice like nails on a chalkboard coming from a heartless blonde beast without a brain. Well played, Sydney. Thank you. I see every tip that comes through from pennies to dollars. They're hugely appreciated and help make this show possible. If you love what I do here and you can afford to help out, throw me a buck with the PayPal link in the pinned comment or drop me a super thanks. Jesse Waters joined Ron DeSantis for a bizarre interview in a New York pizza restaurant to discuss pizza being banned. New York is going to ban pizza? What? Oh, man. That's good. Really good. After seeing Ron eat that pizza, it's pretty easy to believe the pudding stories. Like, this just confirms that. This, the, the idea they would be going after this, I mean, honestly, I see a lot of the people leaving New York who complain about what goes on up here, but even I wouldn't have believed that they would have dreamt of going after this. This is a staple of this city. Of all the things going on here, you got crime, you got homelessness, you got <laughs> drugs, they're going after ovens. Ah, New York is going to ban pizza cooked with coal. What? No. For starters, nothing is being banned, and the overwhelming majority of pizza restaurants use gas ovens. Now, the few that use coal really don't. They're just amplifying a trigger word because the right wing loves to say coal, when in fact, what we are really talking about is hardwood lump charcoal, a very different thing. Coal is a solid carbon-rich mineral which is formed over millions of years and then mined underground, while charcoal is the ultimate form of burnt wood. Nobody is cooking with coal. But burning lump charcoal does create carbon monoxide. This is why we barbecue outside or why any indoor place has proper ventilation. Don't kill your customers. They're going to want us to microwave this pizza. So you're running all over the place. You know he's going to hit the bodega for a pudding cup on the way home. Hold the spoon. This MAGA activist actually went to City Hall and threw pizza. He threw pizza at a building, which meant he didn't make it very far. He just flopped it onto the courtyard, but a couple boxes of pizza. These people are throwing food and complaining about the economy, but they can afford to throw food. Oh, he's also an artist, just so you know. If you want to get a sweet Rush Limbaugh or Trump painting, you know where to go. Now, I am very much aware of all this because I started working full-time at 14. Yep, spent years making wood-fired pizzas in a restaurant, and barbecue and smoking are some of my hobbies. I've even made it into a cookbook, and I do pizzas on both lump charcoal and with a gas pizza oven. But a pizza cooks in under a minute when you have an 800-degree oven. You eat with your eyes, and there's a romance to a wood fire. But the reality is, there's no time for it to impart the smoke. So even if they were banned, we'd be fine but they're not going to be. And groceries, we've seen it happen in other parts of the world. That's what he wants in store for the average American. He's listening a lot to AOC. For guys that declared this is the greatest pizza around, they had two bites each and Ron threw up a little in his mouth. Commit fellas, lick the plates, sell the joint. You know they filmed this in an empty restaurant so Ron couldn't wipe snot on anyone again. Gonna lick my hand. Yeah, leave me a souvenir from your mouth. Relevant restaurants have to hire an engineer or architect to assess the feasibility of installing emission controls on the cook stove to achieve a 75% reduction in particulate emissions. If that level of reduction is not possible, the assessment must identify any emission controls that could provide a reduction of at least 25% or an explanation for why no emission controls can be installed. Seniors love germs. Yeah, own the lips with that woke booger run. The dime size bag didn't reveal any prints in the database, but Trump has taken to True Social to suggest that it belongs to Joe Biden and then said this. In my opinion, it's Hunter and probably Joe. Because, you know, you watch right. Joe at the beginning of his speech and he's got a little life, <laughs> not much, but he's got a little life. By the end of the speech, he's a disaster. I agree. He can't even find his way off the thing. So there's something going on there. And. <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised if it was for both of them. I think it's for both of them, but that's yeah. my opinion. I said, uh, great minds think alike. I said that on my TV show just this morning. I said it's either Hunter or it's Joe because he's so bad that before each speech and interview, they probably need to give him something to juice him up. I think they I pump him up. Exactly that. Yep. <laughs> no, I think they pump him up. All right. Let, and, I think, and we let, can't have a president that's on cocaine. There are no great minds thinking here at all. So is he sleepy dementia Joe or criminal mastermind 
Charlie Sheen. I just thought it gave people unlimited confidence, so they talked your face off for an hour at a party about their screenplay they're going to write. I really don't think it's going to fare well for Diaper Dom when there are actual presidential debates, and they dig up posts and interviews with him calling Jack Smith a crackhead wacko and Biden a cokehead. Alex here, still in the bunker with Marjorie. Again, good dude. I have to confess, it smells like singed wet dog hair in here this week because MTG got burned super big time by a snowflake wielding some Jewish space laser superpowers installed by 5G by the globalist overlords. I have been doing my best to cool her down, and we have the AC crank so hard there's a new ozone hole above my house. It is getting to the point that the Georgia gremlin wants to defy the official Mogwai command and ask me to hose her down Rambo style, and I have no problem opening the floodgates on her 40 grit sandpaper hide, but I need to be shielded from the shin down disaster. We're talking Arby's curly fried toes that should be in a terrarium because they are like zombie caterpillars feeding off the blonde meat swamp's fungal podiatry mess that resembles a a string of overcooked sausages bursting at the casings jammed into a clear Lauren Bobert heel that's just been run over by an Instagram influencer driving a Mike Lindell bargain bin dripping mustache dye forklift that they bought at the auction to show those hammered spam cans what the deal is. Because what is the rule, MTG? The socks stay on. The socks stay on. Free the J6 political prisoners. <laughs> Mega tears. That's why they're trying to put Trump in prison. Because they are scared of Trump. Mega tears. Dude, why are you begging for money if your president is doing such a good job and making America great again? Mega tears. I came here for an honest review of Lauren Bobbert's book and got this bald snark attacking patriots. Blocked. Mega tears. Thanks so much for watching. Help me out by joining us in the comments, sharing this video with a friend, and following me on social media. I am a one-man show here from script to screen, the editing, even the graphics. Please throw me a tip with the easy PayPal link or hit that super thanks button and be sure to check out my mugs that go great with those mega tears. I am a stand-up comedian, I've played in 35 countries, and I've toured with Jim Jeffries for nearly 10 years. I have three albums and a brand new EP from my opening set on Jim's latest Netflix special. You can stream these on Spotify, Apple Music, or catch them on SiriusXM. Thanks for helping me make this show possible. Life's short. Be cool. Be kind. Take care.